The swearing ceremony was held at State House and was attended by various government and religious leaders led by the second vice president ambassador Saif Al Idi. Mimi Mustafa Budujumbe na hapa kwamba nitatumikia vema kwa moyo thabit serikali ya mapinduzi ya katika kazi zangu za katibu mkuu Dr. Juma Malik Yakil na hapa kwamba nitatumikia vema kwa moyo thabit serikali ya mapinduzi ya Zanzibar. The new permanent secretary from the president's office, regional administrative Radhia Rashid Haroop, was the only one who was not sworn in as she is away on studies. Speaking after being sworn in, some of the permanent secretaries called for cooperation from the people, while the permanent secretary from the Minister of Finance pledged to address the problem of payment arrears of retired employees. There is a big challenge in the ministry, especially if you consider that it has collected the mouth of the community in news, sports and tourism, which is an area that is the economy of the country, and also in other areas to do with training. The University of Journalism as well as that of Tourism. Thus, I believe by working with my colleagues, I will take each and every effort I can to succeed and enable us to reach where the government intends for us to reach. And I believe that together with the Institute and my colleagues, we will be able to do well. During Dr. Shane's leadership in the last five years, the income generated by employees was strengthened greatly. And when you change the salaries of employees, its effects are seen in the retirement funds. We've made efforts and started paying. Last year, we paid all special government divisions employees that were owned until December 2015. We have cleared all of them and will reduce what is owed to those in other divisions.